Hi guys, welcome back to Bookish Weekend. My name is Brooke and today we're going to be doing my Yauk haul. So this weekend was Yauk, which is the adult literature convention in case you don't know and it's just a weekend full of books and authors and friends and it's just so much fun. It was my first year I went and I had the best time ever and I went a bit crazy with my money but that's fine, it is what it is. Um, and underneath Yauk is London and Film Comic Con, London Film and Comic Con, that's what it's called. Um, so I went down there as well quite a bit and bought some stuff there. And so this video is just going to be showing you what books I got signed, what books I bought, what other stuff I bought. Um, so yeah, just a few disclaimers and things I want to say first before we get into this. Um, I have been locked out of my Twitter account for being under 13 when I'm actually 18 so I am trying to sort that out but I have got a temporary Twitter account um, which I haven't changed the username to yet but I'm, hope I'm gonna try and change to a bookish weekday because I find myself hilarious and I know it's not funny but I'm just I don't know why I find it so funny um, so go and check that out if you want to just keep up to date with me while I try and get my Twitter sorted um, I'd really appreciate that um, second disclaimer this wall is different it's a work in progress, just ignore it. It will be, be, be better soon. Third disclaimer, I look a mess. I'm not having the best time right now. Um, it is what it is. We're moving on with that. Fourth and final disclaimer, this is going to be a lengthy video. And I mean a lengthy video. Um, when I stand up, my pile of books goes to about my hip. That's without my books being signed and all of the other stuff. So this might go into two parts. We'll see how long it is. I'm going to try and keep this as quick as possible because for your sake and for my sake with the editing because I don't want to be editing like a two hour long video um, I'm also not going to go into too much detail on everything I brought because again it's going to be too much um, too long but go and get yourself a snack, a drink, go to the toilet because this is going to be a long one I have my lunch with me here right here I have brie and cheese brie is cheese brie and apple and bread and my crisps are just behind me um, you know, these root vegetable crisps, they're lovely. I don't like the beetroot ones, but the rest are amazing. Um, so yeah, and then we can get straight into it. So the thing I'm going to start off with, I think, is going to be the books I got signed. And then I'll probably go to the books, the other things I brought, and then my freebies. If you want to see a certain thing, I'll probably try to put the timestamps down below so you can just skip to, like, if you want to just, if you just want to see what books I got, I'll put down what that section begins at. Just want to see the freebies, etc., etc. Um, so yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do this video. If not, I apologise. Just check the description; it'll be down there. So yeah, the books I got signed. So I got most of the books I wanted signed. I didn't meet Tommy Adjani or Miss Albert, but I already have a Hazelwood copy signed, and I was just too tired on the Friday to queue up for her, so that was fine. And Tommy Adjani, I took Children's Blood and Bone, knowing I wasn't going to meet her because the queue was going to be so long, and I just. I haven't read the book yet, so I don't know if it was worth it or not, but I'm sure it is worth the wait, but just for me, not so much, which I mean, it's fine, you can't hate me for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through my pile of books here, in no particular order to be honest with you. I can try and put it in the order I met the people, but we'll see. So on Friday, the first author I met was Arwen Hamilton, and that is the author of Rebel of the Sands. And I had this pile of books here for her to sign for me. Um, in fact, uh, she took a photo of me because I had uh, quite a few books. Most people only had three in the trilogy. I had two of each book of hers because of the different covers, and so she took a photo of me, which was really nice. And actually, I'm just going to talk to you about the little author account I had with her. So we had I had a nice conversation with her. And then she was giving everyone Hero of the Fall tote bags, but she forgot to give me mine. So when I tweeted her that night, she um, replied and said that I had I should go to the the Faber and Faber store to get myself the free tote bag. So I did that. Then I was waiting for the lift to go down, and the door was open and she was there. And she saw me holding my Hero of the Fall bag, so she like um, talked to me about it and had like a nice little conversation as well. So it was really nice just to be remembered and noticed by her. That little encounter definitely made my weekend um so i'm just gonna go through what she wrote in each of my books because you might be interested in that so the first one is rebel of the sands and she said here is her signature to brook join the rebellion Armin hamilton next one is traitor to the throne and she put 
Two Brooke, Are You a Rebel or a da, da, Traitor to the Throne? Arwen Hamilton. And we've got Hero at the Fall. And she does put Two Brooke, Be Your Own Hero, Arwen Hamilton. And then we have this copy of Rebel of the Sands. And it is of Two Brooke, Rebel of the Sands during the Rebellion, Arwen Hamilton, Traitor to the Throne. And she put Two Brooke, Rebel or Traitor, Arwen Hamilton. Hero at the Fall, Two Brook, Rebellion on the Rise, Arwen Hamilton. So that's really nice because obviously authors have like set things that they write in the books, but because I had two copies, she thought of some things a bit different just to make it a bit more special for me, which was really nice. Um, then on the Saturday, I met Simon James Green, who is the author of Noah Can't Even and Noah Could Never. And so I met him. I was actually quite near the front for him, which was nice, and he also gave everyone. This bookmarks with each book that they had. Um, it's the same bookmark but definitely going in my collection might trade um, one of these if anyone wants it. So that's exciting. Yeah, I got No Can't Even and we had a nice conversation about how many sticky tabs I had. Um, he was so nice, he was so lovely. Um, we were just talking about how it made me laugh and I said that I did a book review on it and so he was really interested in that and I was just telling how much I loved this book because if you see my book review, I'll link it here or here, here I think, um, I gush over this book so much and so he just put, he crossed out Noah and put Brooke and then said so nice to meet you Simon James Green and we got Noah could never and then he put, did the same again, Brooke, keep laughing Simon James Green and also at the, um, at Yalk they had these little short stories which are in like a sampler format um, of Noah Goes Nuclear and I know this is going to be an ebook and I think he's going to be doing a competition soon to win a hard copy um, so it was really cool to get this like in physical format instead of just going to be getting it on the ebook um, so this is just a little short story about Noah who goes Noah and he goes on a school trip to a nuclear plantation I believe um, I started reading it, it's so funny, I love it and he just put to Brooke, boom, Simon James Green. So I got him to sign that as well for me, which was awesome. Next, I met Sasha Arsberg, who I'm sure you all know. She is a booktuber here, really quite famous booktuber on YouTube. And she is the author of Zenith, along with Lindsay Cummings. But unfortunately, Lindsay couldn't make it to Yauk. Um Again, Sasha was so nice. I talked to her about Zenith and how much I loved it, as well as Project Red, um, her solo project that she's working on. And I signed a little Project Red postcard that she has. As she was getting people to sign. Um, so I got her to sign Zenith for me and we got given a signed book plate of Lindsay's signature and then she just put two brook with a little planet and then with her autograph so that's really nice. I love Sasha as a um, booktuber. I know this book is really love it or hate it. I did quite enjoy it. It wasn't a masterpiece but I did really enjoy it but Sasha as a person and as a YouTuber I really do like her. Men on the Sunday I was first in queue for Maria Kanishkamp. Realised I've been calling Maria Kanishkamp a she and I overheard at a panel. I think they're non-binary so I am so sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna go with they them pronouns because I think that's what they go by. So if anyone knows about um, Maria Kanishkamp's pronouns please let me know down below because I don't want to get their pronouns wrong. Um, but yeah, I apologise for doing for getting that wrong. I wasn't aware. Um, yeah. So then on the Sunday, I was first in queue for American Nutsch Camp, and they were amazing. They had awesome coloured hair. Um, so I had before I let go, and this is where it ends assigned. So this is where it ends. It just says Brooke always choose hope, and then their autograph. Um, before I let go, it says Brooke tell your own story. Then with their autograph. Sunday afternoon, I met Christina Henry, the last author that I met for now. You'll see more later. Um, so I just got all four of her books signed and I talked to her about Peter and how the actual original um, source material is actually quite dodgy to do with Peter. No spoilers here, but you know what I mean. If, I've, if you've read Lost Boys, so I got all four of her books signed. So I've got The Mermaid. And oh yes, and she gave us all this little postcard, which was amazing. So we've got the mermaid, and she put Brooke, strong woman make waves, Christina Henry. Alice, she put Brooke, don't fall down the rabbit hole, Christina Henry. Red Queen, Brooke, watch your head, Christina Henry. Lost Boy, and then she put Brooke, 
Peter Lies, Christine Henry. So that is all of the books I got signed this weekend that, and author signings that I went to. Um, I love meeting them all, they're all so kind. Thank you to them for spending their time to talk to me and meeting us all at Yelk. It must have been so tiring for them in that heat. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to go on to the books that I bought this weekend. I didn't get any arcs, unfortunately. I did enter the, a lot of raffles. I entered the Dear Evan Hansen raffle and I was so hoping to win that one, but I didn't, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you all the books I bought now. So the first book I got was this book, and this is the Class of 2018 Qu 2019 Penguin Yearbook, and this is just gorgeous and black and gold, and it's, it's beautiful. This was free. I actually wasn't going to pick up this book. It didn't really interest me because it's just a book of different, like, chapter samplers for all the different books of the year. And I'm not really a chapter sampler girl. I have got a lot of chapter samplers just because they were free. But um, when I went over to the over to the Penguin Store, they were telling us to pick them up, and I can't say no to people. The next two books I have, I actually have quite a nice story to go with them, and so that is Cloaked in Shadow and Found in Night by Ben Alderson. I, as soon as I heard about these books, someone messaged me on Instagram about them. Um, I was so up for it. It was about basically gay elves, is all I know. And so that really intrigued me. And so then I started tweeting Ben Alderson so much on Twitter. I was probably annoying him so much and the Off Chorms um, publishing company. I, on the Friday we went up a bit, about 15 minutes early because I said if we went up the stairs we needed to go in. Um, so everyone was rushing to like the big publishing stands and stuff to get like raffle tickets and um, signed copies of Shadow and Bone and all of that. And so no one was at the Off Chorms stand yet so I went up to him and I was like hi. I'm the annoying person that keeps following, that keeps tweeting you, and he was like, oh my god, and then he came and gave me a hug, which was so nice, and then we had a nice five minute talk to him about it, about books, about Yauk, and how excited he was, and how excited we were and everything, and then he signed these books for me, um, and he gave us a postcard with each one, so on one side, I don't even know what the character's called, Zachariah, and Nia, Nia, I don't know how you pronounce the other dude's name, um, these are the two main characters from the books, and you've got one, with each book, so I've got two, again, might give one away, might just keep them both. In the Shadow, he just wrote, Brooke, enjoy the ride, Ben, Brooke, beware the shadow, Ben, in Found in Night. So that's super exciting, I cannot wait to read these books, they are so beautiful, they sound amazing, and I love Ben so much. I'm still not even giving a hug, one of the highlights of my weekend was Ben giving me a hug, to be honest with you, so that was super super cool. The next few books I got Sunday morning, um, because me and my sister went to look at the Waterstone stall again, which they weren't discounted or anything, but because obviously all the authors had been there, they had millions of signed copies, and I nearly bought all of them, but I, I contained myself a bit and just bought three from their stall. Um, these are people that I wanted to meet but didn't have time to meet. Um, or I hadn't afforded, hadn't been able to afford to buy their books yet, so I hadn't managed to get them. So when I saw them signed, I thought, well, I might as well get them now because they're signed, and I've been wanting to read these books for a while. And so the first one I got was Clean by Juno Dawson, and so it's just signed there. Next I have is The Truth About Lies by Tracy Danton. I think this might be middle grade. I'm not entirely sure. Tracy Danton hashtag Yelk2018. So that's super exciting. Finally, we have The Bells by Danielle Clayton. I was going to meet um, Danielle, but I couldn't afford to buy her book. And it just says, May You Always Find Beauty. And so that's also really exciting. I can't wait to read all of those. The reason why I've bought so many books is because a lot of publishers had them discounted. I mean, like, all of them were discounted in some way, except for Waterstones. Um, so a lot of them are like three paperbacks for £10, two hardbacks for £12 or just like five pound a book, whatever, and I've been wanting to read most of these books for a while, or they were early copies, and so I was like, they're discounted, I need to, I need to get them. Um, so that's my explanation that I'm giving to myself to make myself feel less bad about spending so much money. But all the money that I did spend was intended for Yelp, like I'd saved up a lot of money because I knew there were going to be lots of books I wanted to read, so that, again, is my excuse. Um, but yeah, so I got... The Nowhere Girls by Inge Reid. This is a sort of feminist book, sort of like Moxie, I believe. I know Emma Books loves it, so excited to pick this one up. Then we have The Miseducation of Cameron Post. I started listening to this on board audiobook. I'm just loving it. I decided I wanted to pick up the physical copy. So I got this out at Penguin, and it has these gorgeous sprayed edges of the rainbow flag. Um, 
so I'm excited to pick this one up. I think this is about um, a bisexual or lesbian girl in like the 80s maybe. A sacrifice box, I'm not entirely sure what this is about. But over at the Penguin store it was two books and a tote bag for £10 I believe it was. So I got Miss Education of Cameron Post because I really wanted it. And then this one really piqued my interest. A group of friends find a discover something and then they make a sacrifice each but then a few years later somebody doesn't play the game right and so they have to go on this like journey or whatever I got from the Waterstone store Are Your Lemmings and Snowflakes by Holly Bourne this book sounds really interesting to me it was an early copy there so I picked it up I haven't read many Holly Bourne books but I have heard lots about her and I have started one of her books um, and I love it I, her writing is very British author to me, that's going to make no sense to anyone, but a British white author has a specific writing feel to me and it's definitely, Holly Bond's working style is, fits into that category, so um, that's really exciting, I think this one comes out in August, so I've got this a few weeks early, and then over at the Stripes publishing stand it was three books for £10, so I picked up three of their books I've been looking at for a while, the first one being Savage Island, and I believe... Uh, this is a bit of a punk game, Lord of the Flies type book, not entirely sure. I think it's meant to be like a horror or a thriller or whatever, and it sounds really interesting, so can't wait to pick that up. Frozen Charlotte by, oh I haven't told you who this one is, but this one, Savage Island is by Bryony Pierce. And then I got Frozen Charlotte by Alex Bell, and this is about creepy antique dolls in a school for girls. And then I also picked up Charlotte Says, which is the prequel to this book. I have heard lots of good things about um, Frozen Charlotte. So I can't wait to get into this series soon. I think I might pick this up around October time, along with Savage Island, because I'm meant to be quite creepy. Um, and I'm a mood reader, so that might be quite cool. Another early copy I got from Waterstones is Giant Days by Non Pratt. I know this is based off the graphic novel series, which I haven't read yet, but if I enjoy this, I'm definitely going to pick it up. This comes out August as well, I believe. I think it's about a group of girls that start university, something like that. I'm starting university in September, so any books that are about that subject are really intriguing at the moment to make myself feel better about it. Next I got two hardbacks for £12 from The Harper's Jewel, and I got Forks by Nadine Brandes, and I know this is a new release, I think it's a Guy Fawkes retelling, a bit of a historical fiction fantasy type of book, so that's really exciting. And then I got Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, which I've wanted for ages, again I know Emma Books loved it. I think this is sort of mystery, um, set in a boarding school, I love boarding school atmospheres, sort of reminds me about Study in Charlotte, so I'm really excited to pick this up as soon as possible. I got these two books which are both in this, a series by Terry Terry. I read this latest, this slated series by Terry Terry and I absolutely loved it and I want to read more of her books. Um, I know Fated is coming out in January and third and final book in this trilogy is coming out soon so I wanted to pick these two up and read them and I'm actually reading this one currently and that is Contagion by Terry Terry and this one is Deception. These are just about a girl goes missing and our main character Shay um, sees her on the last day that she's missing, the last day she was seen um, and so I think it's about them unraveling the mystery. It's very dystopian feel of sci-fi. Um, that sort of book and I'm loving it so far and these beautiful blue sprayed edges are gorgeous so I'm really happy with this purchase and these next three books were three for ten pounds and I've been wanting to read more thrillers recently YA thrillers mysteries that sort of thing so I picked these three up because I think they're sort of that sort of book I'm not entirely sure but they sound interesting either way and so the first two are by the same author and that is Lying About La Saint by Sue Woolman and See How They Lie by Sue Woolman. I'm actually getting her other third book for Christmas. Um, so I'm actually very excited to pick these three up. I don't know much about these, but they sound really interesting. I've got Never World Awake by Marisha Pestle. This book sounds really familiar to me and I don't know why, but it seems like a thrillery sci-fi book or something. Um, really interested in it and because it sounds familiar to me, I want to know why it does, but I can't remember what it does. On the front it just says, five friends, only one can survive the never world wake, who would you choose? So that's, I'm quite excited to pick that one up. I have these two books by Kat Clark. I have We Are Young and Girlhood. Um, 
Again, these seem a bit like a thrillery, mystery sort of book. I'm not entirely sure. This one says three people died and no one's asking why, but I need answers. I have to find out what really happened that night. And this one says, I lost myself when my sister died and these girls rebuilt me piece by piece. I thought like nothing could ever come between us. I thought I knew who I was until the new girl showed up. I love books about like dodgy girl gangs. Oh, that sounds so weird. Um, but like All of This Is True was such a good book. Um, had a group of girls and they were all sort of like, not great. Like they think they're best friends, but then something happens and they turn to enemies. And that really interests me. So definitely going to be picking up Girlhood soon because I've been wanting to read more thrillers recently I picked up three E. Lockhart books I've already read We Were Liars and I didn't enjoy it well I did enjoy it I enjoyed the ending but I think I wasn't expecting it to be what it was and so I found it quite boring but now that I know what it is and what her writing's like I think I'm definitely gonna enjoy it a bit more um because I have expectations that are realistic and so I picked up these three books of hers I have The Disresputable History of Frankie Orlando Banks I think is how you pronounce it. Then I have Genuine Fraud and Drama Rama. This one particularly interests me. It says two fabulous theatre geeks, one boy, one girl, one gay, one straight, one black, one white, and summer drama camp. It's a season of hormones, hissy fits, jazz hands, song of dance, and true love. So this one seems to be just more of like a classic contemporary, but this one definitely seems more like a thriller. And then this one, I don't even know what this one's about, but I picked it up anyway, so that's cool, I suppose. <laughs> and then I also got at the Macmillan stand, I think. My kind of book stand. Um, they had mystery books for five pounds each and I wanted out the blue, but I didn't get it. Um, that's fine, I'll pick up that book another time. Um, but I did get this somewhere inside your house by Stephanie Perkins. I've heard lots of mixed reviews about this book, but I think it's more of like a horror, thriller, sort of book so I will definitely pick it up soon. It has piqued my interest so I'm not disappointed with it. Finally because they were on discount I decided to finally pick up Six of Crows, Billy Bardugo and Crooked Kingdom. I haven't finished the Grisha trilogy yet. I have the last book to read but I am so excited to read this duology because I've heard everyone raving about it for a long time. Um, everyone seems to love it, everyone seems to love it more than the trilogy. Um, the characters are apparently amazing, so I picked these up since they were discounted and I knew I would definitely read them at some point. So that's really super exciting. And I've already pre-ordered the um, special collector's edition for Six of Crows, so I have an issue, I know, but here we are. Is all of the books I brought. I'd say that it's all, like, there's not many, there's a lot. Should we count how many I brought? No, I don't want to do that for myself. Yes, yeah, so and now I'm just going to show you all of the other stuff that I bought um, at London Film Comic Con and stuff like that. So, oh, I have the program here for Yelp. That was free. Yeah. Um, so I bought this Yelp lanyard. Um, I like lanyards. This would be a cute little like memory item to have. So it's cute. And then I saw it down in LFCC was selling like pin badges from like Disney and all of that for five pounds. And in Disney they're like up to like dollars or ten pounds or whatever, depending in which park you are, ten euros. So I picked up this little cocoa pin and it just says remember me in Spanish and then in English with this little diagram. And this one is sold I believe in Florida Disney and then the Hong Kong Disneyland. Um, so I wouldn't be girl would get this anytime soon. Coco is one of my favourite films and this pin is just really super cute. And I picked up this little print in here and that is just of John Watson and Sherlock Holmes because I love them. I also picked up these Undertale postcards because I love Undertale but I have nothing to represent Undertale in my room. Um, so I just got this one and it says I'll kill everyone you love. That's a wonderful idea. And then I have this one and it says huh. Did you just call me mum? Well, I suppose, would that make you happy to call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. So that is just amazing. And finally we have sand and it says, you're gonna have bad times. These are just gonna go on my wall up there, I think, or I might take them to you with me. I haven't decided, but yeah. And I finally got these, oh, finally, I've got a lot more prints to go through. I got these two print by Grant Perkins. I got this labyrinth print. Um, I loved it. It's, this was one of my favourite things I bought this whole weekend. 
Labyrinth is one of my favourite films and it's just got the Caterpillar and Ludo and Hoggle and obviously David Bowie up here and then these guys are my favourite scene ever, I find it so funny, um, don't ask me why. But yeah, this is definitely going up on my wall, I love it, I'm obsessed and then it was two for 20, no it was three for 20 pounds so my sister also got a Labyrinth one and then I also picked up this Harry Potter one, so this has Dobby and Harry. Ron, Hermione, Crookshanks, Hedwig, Hagrid, Dumbledore, Snape, Voldemort, Hogwarts is in the background there, got the cup down at the bottom, some Weeping Willows, um, all of that sort of stuff. I love these artworks, there were so many more that I wanted, um, Big Hero 6, but I can't afford everything, so I chose these two. And then I got these two prints of Rocket and Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Rocket is one of my favourite superheroes, um, probably my favourite after Deadpool, um, so I definitely wanted to get Rocket, and then I thought I had to get Groot, because you can't get Rocket without Groot, like, it's against the law, so I got these two. I finally got these two prints as well, and they're just like these retro, like, movie poster prints, I got it for Stranger Things and Prison of Azkaban, I love these a lot, um, I had to get them, Stranger Things is one of my favourite TV shows, and Prison of Azkaban is my favourite Harry Potter book and movie, so... I love these. I also got um, these two alpacas. Yeah. I got two fluffy alpacas. Don't ask me why. They were cute. I wanted them. Um, this is Buzz and this is Bert. So it's Buzz and Bert. Um, I love them. They're cute. They're my children. They're going to sit nicely on my bed or my chair or something. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to go through all of the free book swag that I got, and then we will be finished. I just got these tote bags, um, the first one I've already mentioned is this Hero at the Fall tote bag by Owen Hamilton. It's a bit crinkled, but just says, all heroes are mortal in the end, Hero at the Fall, Owen Hamilton. And then on the back, it just has this, and it says, for the people of the desert knew that it did not matter, rebel, traitor, or hero, everyone was mortal in the end. So that's super cool. This is the penguin tote bag I was talking about earlier. And it just has this penguin. I dare you to write here at the penguin platform. That's cool. I love my tote bags. I got these two bookmark um, tote bags. I was only going to get one, but then someone offered it to me the other day when I wasn't, when I didn't have this one. So I was like, whatever, I'll take it. Um, so I got the coral one. This is bookmark logo on the front. Then I got the blue one with the same logo. Got given this um, tote bag from the Scholastic stand when I was buying some books, and it's just this State of Sorrow tote bag. I haven't read that book yet, but it's on my TBR, so that's pretty cool. I went to the Book Box Club stall. Those two ladies are so nice, like. They're so humble and just so amazing. If you want to support Big Box Club even more, um, I'm definitely going to talk about their subscription a lot more on my channel now and all my other platforms just to spread the awareness of the box. I will link them down below if you want to get a um, sign up for that August box. I think the theme is Tech Tribes. Uh, but because I am a current subscriber, they gave me one of their tote bags and it's just it's one with this gorgeous design that is unashamedly bookish and it says book book club down on the bottom there and I think this is my favourite tote bag that I got just because it makes me so happy those ladies are so lovely because I bought giant days I got this free little um, thermos cup and it just has little quotes on it and little designs you can't see it very well but that's super cool but given this summer bird blue little sampler um, and it's actually signed by the author um, there we are that's cool this BBA William Shakespeare poster because I love BBA. I don't particularly like Shakespeare, but I thought this was super cute to go up on my wall. I got this change is gonna come poster and it just has all these different quotes. It's like this giant days poster and on the back it just has like a student checklist. This fierce like fire fierce like a firestorm sampler, um, which is the sequel to Wild Like a Wildflower or something. I haven't read that either, but it is on my TBR. Um and this cover is gorgeous. That's exciting. Got this feminist don't wear pink and other lies checklist sampler. 
um, which has really interested me. I'm definitely going to give this a read. This exclusive flip sampler, so it is I Am Thunder and I Won't Keep Quiet, and then Kick the Moon, both by Mohammed Khan, it's Lying About Last Summer postcard. I've got these two little badges. This first one is just this little rainbow badge that says Rosie and Rosie on it. And then the other one is In Love and Proud. I've got this envelope, which I got as a bookmark yeah, because survival kit, and it just had some stuff in here. Um, but I filled it up with all like, my samplers and stuff, so I'm just going to go through this and show you what's in here. This signed Saving Death postcard, and this is signed by the author. This is coming out soon, I think. This is by Ofton's Publishing. These two prints from Fierce Fragile Hearts by Sarah Bernard. This one says they have this power, my friends. They're like lampposts and dark streets, like in, light in the dark. And then this one says, I'm a work in progress, and that's okay, right? You can't have everything. Got this little um, poem from Poems to Live Your Life by, chosen and illustrated by Chris Riddle. I also got this Hazelwood bookmark. I love the Hazelwood, as you guys may know. And it just says, Stay Away from the Hazelwood, Mr. Albert. And on this side, it just says Alice three times. I've got this Eve of Man bookmark. It says, How do you choose between love and the future of the human race? Um, that's just by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. I've got this little bookmark and it just has butterflies on it. This chapter sampler for Enchante by Jita Chalice. Never heard of it, but I did just pick up a little junk basically is what I'm getting at in this last part of the video. A lot of this stuff I actually am really excited for like the Rose and Rosie badges, the Hazelwood bookmark, um, some of these samplers and little posty things. Um, but a lot of it I just don't really care about. Um, so I might trade it. I did go a bit crazy. I've definitely learnt my lesson. Um, but I am definitely going to have a look at everything, give everything a little bit of read, decide which ones I want to keep, and then trade the rest. Postcard of I Was Born For This by Alice Osman. It says everyone needs something to believe in. One of my favourite things I got this weekend. The, yeah, I know, this is one of my favourite things I got, and it was free. Just the little thing they're giving away, and there's this. These little post-it notes. Now, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Devon Hanson the musical. Um, I'm so excited for the book to come out. They were giving out these little Devon Hanson post-it notes. It just says, today's going to be an amazing day and here's why. And I love these so much. I don't want to ever run out of them. Um, I just love Devon Hanson. One of my favourite things is free sticky notes. That says how much I love it. This little Jack of Hearts postcard. It just picked up this Turtles All The Way Down pencil. I got this little sampler of a good girl's guide to murder which is a, i'm actually really excited for postcard that says the universe the, family, the universe stops and waits for us i don't get nearly enough credit in life for the things i managed not to say and that's from how i live now by meg russell three owen hamilton postcards um they're gorgeous i love these covers so much I've got these little um like tarot cards from Smoke Thieves, I believe it is. So that's super cool. This Giant Days little postcard sampler for what would Buddha could do. And this is, I believe, about famous women um, in modern day issues. Got this No Mourners, No Funerals postcard. And it has the exclusive cover on the back. Um, I got two of these, so I'm going to trade one. A Queen of Air and Darkness exclusive sneak peek, which I'm super excited for. I'm not going to read it because I haven't read all the shows yet. Um, but I just needed it to add to my collection. This magnet that says we aren't broken, we're just alive, and that's from Clean by Junior Dawson. Then I got a uh, sampler of Fated by Terry Terry, and this is the prequel to the Slated series. That's coming out on the 7th of March, 2019. Um, definitely gonna read this soon. I love that series so much. I got this Ricky King sampler, which I might just trade, because I feel like a lot of people might want this. Um, and I like the core prints, but not as much as some people. It was a lot. It was it was dodgy in a lot of places. Um, so I might just trade that. And then I got this Votes for Women bookmark, which is for things by Gokhan Dupasaya Nicholson. Nichols, sorry. Um, I have read that book, but anything suffragettes, I love it. So I got this. I saw Lauren from Fiction G Designs, and so she gave me a free bookmark, and I got this. Sorry, I'm all booked one. So thanks to her. Well, um, Stranger by Karen David pin. Young Adult HQ pin, Thorell Key Grishaverse pin, and this just don't wear makeup pin, um, and it has like the don't cluster, a feminist's 
don't have fun pin and it has the don't crossed out feminist and proud pin we rise children and blood and bone pin corporal key push of us pin pessimist pin i have a i was born this way pin rose with hall pin which i was super excited to find um these are from the rose of chronicles by connie glenn it's renegades pin then another really exciting thing this you will be found pin from Devon Hansen. It's traitor to the throne pin. A material key Grishaverse pin. Feminists don't wear pink pin. Hashtag reads memory stick because I need memory sticks as a booktuber. It's trend in a book pin. Big sounds pin. Hero at the fall pin. A feminist AF pin. And then a flora be brave pin. That's everything. My room's a mess. I have to pack all of this away now. Um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this very long video. If you have made it this far, congratulations. I love you. Well done. You get a massive hug from me. Thank you so much for watching this very long video. Um, I had a great time at Yelp. If you were there as well, let me know what you picked up. Um, and if you want to go next year, because I am hoping to go as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go and pack all this away now and just slot through my suitcase. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.